Now we are going to learn the top tips to hiding your regrowth between salon visits. Welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, editor of Beauty EQ, Tree Brewer. Hello. Welcome, welcome. First up, I want to be talking regrowth. We How are. easy is it to colour your hair at home? It's actually not. And I mean, you see a lot of bad hair colour around because of that. And I think... Colouring regrowth is one thing, but actually doing a full head of colour. When you can't actually be a magician and swivel your head around and do the back. Yeah. So it's not that easy. I can't, even, got some I can't even blow wave the back of it. Yeah. But you, we're talking more about the roots today, aren't we? And yeah, you've we got a, a little video that you've made of I you have. touching up your roots. So let's yeah. take a look. Okay. Oh, she looks great. So what are you doing here? So I'm talking about just covering regrowth that's visible. Is that so your natural blonde coming through there? That's my Trudy? natural blonde. Yeah. No, it's not. It's my natural grey. The silver? Sadly. Okay. Uh, um, and I mean, the, the, the key is to just doing where is visible. I mean, this is not to replace your salon visit. Right, we're not talking like just, a full head. We're just talking no, the little bits No, we're just talking those bits that are visible. If you've got a function to go to and you think my regrowth looks terrible, um, then there's a few tips to do on how to do that easily. Oh, that's a great video. I love that. So that's how you do it yourself. That's how. Well, and it that's the well. fast mode. But there's actually some instructions in the post on the website. To and how you can actually do it. it. Yeah. Um, how often do you need to do it? Whenever it's visible, I think. Um, and I don't know. A lot of women are busy, so mm. actually scheduling appointments. Often, if you're scheduling appointments 12 weeks out, and you've got a function to go to, and you think I've got to touch up my regrowth, you're not going to be able to get into your stylist. So it's a great way to just learn a few tips on how to do that. Yeah, that's true. And um, keeping up my natural blonde is quite yeah. a lot. Quite a high maintenance. And it's thing. It is, and I wouldn't ever blonde my hair at home. And I am actually an ex hairdresser, but I know how difficult it is. Touching up the regrowth is one thing. The colour that you choose is absolutely paramount to the success of it. And there, a lot of home colours are very brassy. Mm -hmm. um, choosing the right shade is really important. Um, and the coverage, making sure it's not patchy. So there are a few things to consider. That you really do have to think about before yep. you actually get stuck into your own head. Uh, what other ways can we keep on, on top of regrowth? Um, there are some great little um, products that I've brought in actually. Um, they're more semi-permanent options. One of them is a New Zealand made brand actually. It's called Beauty Dust. I love the name. I have actually tried this out when I'm um, in between natural blonde visits. It's, it's totally natural. It's all of it. It's fantastic because it's a magnetic mind. powder and they do five shades from blonde right through to really dark and it basically sticks to your hair until you wash it. And you just dust it on you with these two here. You just dust it on. You, just, you actually have to press quite hard, so it's best to actually separate your um, regrowth and push your hair down and dust it on quite quite firmly mm, to I, get it on the hair. I use this thinking, what's, how's this powder going to work? It actually worked incredibly well on mine. Yeah. It just sort of blended it to make it a little bit more neutral and, and I mean, it's into not, the blonde. Yeah, that's right. It blends it. And all of these things do blend it. The other one is a great little product from Joyco called Tint Shot, and it's got a little um, nozzle where you now, that again is only going to mask the regrowth until you shampoo but it lasts for ages a magnetic again a mag magnetic powder in a spray form and you just spray it where you need it and brush it through um, having an old toothbrush at home is great to just comb it through um, and there are lots of other options this sort of stuff into. though is it going to is it going to if you get caught in the rain, is it going to actually rinse out and come down your face? No, and it doesn't. Brown you threads? really do need to shampoo it out. It really does stick. Okay, that's good to know. You yeah. don't want to have all those down in your rain. So what else have you got in here for us? So I've just brought those options in. Um, this was my hairdresser. I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm a big fan of this because it's made by hairdressers, Sydney-based company. Okay. Um, a lot of home colour doesn't actually say what it's going to do on the pack. It's difficult to use, whereas this really does deliver. Um, Always, a couple of tips, always choose one shade lighter than your natural colour. Okay. And always do a patch test. Not a lot of people do that, but actually to make sure that you don't, don't have a reaction to it, just put, apply a little bit just at the, the nape of the neck, just behind the neck. Make sure it doesn't itch or do anything to your scalp. And... Yeah, you should be good to go. So this stuff is particularly just for covering the greys? Um, this is, yes. You, there are options that you can use within the range that isn't. Covering the greys depends on the volume of peroxide that you mix with the colour. So that's getting a little bit technical, but essentially the peroxide opens the hair cuticle and deposits the colour. So the stronger the peroxide, the higher the lift you get with the colour. Okay, are these two things, they, they go together, don't they? They go together, they're best friends. Okay, that's really great to hear stylists speak there. You can tell you've been in the business you know <laughs> so what would be your top tip then if we're thinking about doing something at home what we really need to think about 
I think um, don't try and do anything too technical. You know, don't, if, as a novice, don't go ombre. Don't try and be too clever. If you wanted to colour your hair at home, just stick with your natural regrowth, yeah. covering your natural regrowth. If you're wanting to get a blonde effect, highlighted effect, ombre effect, really leave it to a professional. Okay, that's yeah. very sound advice. Thank you so much, Trudy. You're welcome. And don't do what I did when I was a teenager, which involved henna, and I ended up with, just imagine a carrot, that colour on my hair everywhere, and it did not wash out for months. It was, it's like, kind of like Paul Ego's t-shirt, actually. I uh, thank you so much, Trudy. So, no more mince and cheese effect for us blondies, that's for sure. So, for more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.